Bobcat D was dominant, and Ohio football brought life back into its season in Week 8 at Peden Stadium. Final score, Ohio 23, Akron 20. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Rob Cornelius joins me, and Ohio was on top 13-10 at halftime. Numerous opportunities for the D to make a bunch of plays and score points. That didn't happen, but the D was huge in the end to set up a Josiah Yazdani field goal to win it. Yeah, the D was fantastic today. Really sat on the run, kept Akron from getting the running game going much as it did a few weeks before and with Bowling Green. And against the pass, they did just enough. And late interception, late fumble, key this one for Ohio. Yeah, Josh Kristoff had the pick to seal it at the end. Prior to that, Devin Bass dislodged the ball from an Akron receiver, and then Javon Johnson picked it up and set Ohio up for what hopefully would have been a touchdown drive, but the field goal was good enough. Yeah, field goal did the job. You're looking for Ohio in the first half, playing a rookie quarterback for Akron, limited minutes, limited experience guy, forced him to make a lot of bad throws, had a lot of near-miss interceptions that first half. Yeah, Ohio wins it by three. The offense was good enough to be able to secure the ball late and keep that drive going. There were a number of third down completions and conversions in the first half that gave Ohio longer drives and maybe they should have had. I thought J.D. Sprague made a number of good decisions today at quarterback. Yeah, he was scrambling less in the second half. O-line played a little better, still scrambling too much, but no sacks against Ohio today. Ohio's defense came up with three big sacks. And you look at this thing, the running game got going. A.J. Olet, at least in the second half, got his yards before leaving with an ankle injury very late. 23 20 the final score. This recap is driven by Don Wood Toyota of Athens. The Cats got it done by three, and here's how it looked and sounded at Peden Stadium. First and ten for Ohio at the Akron 49. First drive of the ball game. Mangin in motion to the right side. And a snap back play action. Rolling right as Sprague throws on the run, and it is caught near sideline. It's Ian Dixon near sideline. 10-5 and into the house. Six for the Cats. Touchdown Ohio. Six nothing Bobcats. Ian Dixon in. Ball on the left hash, Woodson takes a snap, lob to the near side, looks for Hundley, and the ball is caught inbounds. Touchdown, Akron. The late call says his foot was in. Three wide receivers right, two to the left, back to pass Woodson. Now he throws it left side. The ball is intercepted on a dive. Devin Bass got it on the way down at the 29. Woodson threw it left numbers. Bass jumped the route, comes up with the pick. Sprague's out of the shotgun. They do come from the edge. Sprague's in trouble, runs forward, got the first down, 40. On the run, 45. At the logo, a couple of guys whiff on tackles, and he has free run to the near side, 40. And inside Akron territory, down to the 30. So a 42-yard attempt for the right-footed kicker. Snap back, placement down, kick up. It looks like he got it, and he did. And Ohio's on top 10-7 with 6.59 to go for the first half. Woodson's out of the shotgun, four wide receivers. Back to pass, loads up, throws over the middle. It's caught. Dio Orazio down on a dive at the 31. He's a left-footed kicker. It's just beyond 40 yards between the hashes. Snap back to him, placement down. The kick's away, and he... Got it. Stuck it clean from 40. So with 4.50 to go for the first half, we are deadlocked at 10. Ball between the hashes at the Ohio 42. Sprague takes a hip-high snap, zings it over the middle. It's caught. Jordan Reed got it between the hashes, pulled down at the 35. This is from uh, 38 yards away. Snap back good, kick up, and did he get it? Yes, sir, he did. Just fit it in, and at halftime, Ohio takes the lead. 13 to 10 on the Akron Zips as they crouch. Woodson takes a snap back to pass. Looks over the middle, looks to the end zone. It's caught. It's an Akron touchdown. Zach DiRazio right at the H in Ohio on the north side end zone. And the Zips take the lead at 16-13 on a laser of a throw on third down and goal from the 13. Sprague waits for the snap. And now he takes the snap. Retreats, looks left, throws left. Cochran caught it, got a first down. Left side numbers, south of the 40, down to the 37. Cats trying to take the lead back. JD takes a snap, retreats, looks left, wide open. Olet caught it left side and into the house. Six for the Cats, touchdown Ohio, 19-17 Bobcats. 5.48 to go, quarter three. A.J. Olet, the star of that drive, to tie the game with 13.21 to go for the fourth quarter. Snap back, placement down, kick away, and he got it. We're tied at 20, 242 yards, two touchdowns, and a pick. Second down and 10 at the Akron 42. Back to pass, loads up, throws left side. It's caught, it's Pratt, lost the ball, and it's picked up by Ohio at the 42. On the run, it's Devon Johnson, comes near side. He's at the 35 through a tackle, near sideline 30. At the back logo, and he falls down at the 21. 
caught the ball. He's hurt on the far sideline. And the Bobcats will have it at the 22. Inside Akron territory with 3.39 to go. Sprague out of the pistol set with Patterson behind him. JD waits for the snap and he takes the snap finally. It's an option to the right. Akron did not tackle. Sprague on the run right side. 15. Down to the 10 and out of bounds. 1.59 to go for the game. This is tied at 20. This is a 23-yard field goal near the right hash for the right-footed kicker. He has Donnie to give Ohio the lead. Snap back, placement down, kick up, and he got it. Josiah Yazdani gives Ohio a three-point lead, 23 to 20, with 1.55 to go for the game. Got to play D. Two wide to the right, two wide receivers left, first and 10 at the 50. Back to pass Woodson, throws over the middle of the ball, it's intercepted! Josh Kristoff picked it off, and the Cats are going to win! At the 30 inside Ohio territory, he sat down on the route, the pass was thrown low, Kristoff's pick seals it. Ohio 23, Akron 20. This was a big swing week. It's week eight of the season. You're back to 500 now. The vibes weren't all that great after losses to Central Michigan and to Bowling Green. If Ohio didn't get this win, you could start thinking about, well, where is the season going? Now, on the positive side, you say, well, where is the season going? You're 4-4 four and four and you're 2-2, two and two, and with Bowling Green's loss to Western Michigan today, you're right back in the Mac East race. Yes, seven straight wins over an Akron team. You've had their number for a long time, and you look at the next four weeks, all the games winnable, all the games losable, but on your way to six or seven wins in a postseason, certainly very possible right now. You'll find out a lot about this team on the road at Western. Yeah, it's homecoming in Kalamazoo. Western Michigan really controlled things, held that Bowling Green offense to 14 points, won it by 12. P.J. Fleck, of course, has been talked about a lot as their second year head coach but like the gimmicks don't like the gimmicks you can't argue with the fact that they've been massing up talent there's a lot of it there and they're rowing their boats in the right direction yeah, he was a hot hire a hot recruiter and finally maybe some results starting to come in after last year went so poorly for them they are much better ohio needed this one didn't they really did really did feels good to get it done at home 23 20 the final score over the akron zips that's our recap that's supported by donwood toyota of Athens. Thanks to the entire Bobcat TV crew that's head by Tanner Smith. Now for Rob Cornelius, I'm Russ Eisenstein. So long from Peden Stadium. This is Bobcat TV.